The counselors come forth also. If you have brought your friends and your relatives and your family members, you can come together to, to, to the Lord. God is waiting for you. This is your time to be redeemed. This is your time to be saved. God is waiting. You have nothing to be afraid of. God will touch you tonight. Come forward. Do the exactly same thing that you did today. Jesus loves you. God is waiting. My fellow believers, pray quietly and silently that God has touched the hearts of the people who will still have to make up their minds and give their lives to Jesus. number of counselors. I encourage you tonight to come forward again tonight so that you can talk to your counselor. If you're not sure about your salvation, come forward and let's talk about it. The decision must not be something that comes up and disappears. You come forward and we pray with you and we'll help you to grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. to grow, grow as mighty men and women of God. We will wait a little longer. There are still people walking down. Make up your mind right now and come forward. God will receive you tonight.
Jesus, he died to set you free. I'm seeing a little more people still coming forward. Take your time, we'll wait for you. Come on down. Come on down, give your life to God tonight. I made this, this decision when I was 14 years of age. At the time, it was a small decision. But as I look back, my life was completely turned around on that point. And I never regretted that I accepted Jesus into my heart when I was 14 years old. Come on down, come on down. I'm seeing young people coming down. God welcomes you. God loves you. I'm seeing elderly people also coming down. You made a right decision. Come on down. I'm still seeing a couple of people walking down to my right. Please come on down. This is your time for salvation. From now on, God is going to turn your life around. Just because of your sin in the past doesn't mean that you will have to ruin your life today and tomorrow. Yes, I sinned as pastor. Yes, I failed in my marriage as pastor. Not that I didn't sin and Jesus overlooked everything. But because of my sin and because of God's love for me, He sent His Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sin. The moment Jesus breathed his last, all my past sins and the present sins and the future sins were hung upon Jesus. Jesus said, It is finished. Jesus has canceled 